There are no shortcuts in the education of a Marine commando. Lesson three, survival, has to be learned the hard way, in the field. Forbidden all contact with a sparse Hebridean population, deprived of rations now for three days, these gaunt men must live by what they can snare and kill. They are candidates for an elite unit, the Marines Mountain and Arctic Warfare Cadre, whose function is to behave extremely badly behind enemy lines. Food for another couple of days. Many days happy hunting. Ooh, hot work. Western society is so unacquainted with real hunger that its effects on men fitter than most Olympic athletes is fascinating. What happens first? Well, it, fatigue generally, uh, it's a lot more difficult to, um, to bound these distances to the snares for a start. You, as you probably noticed, it took us a long time to get up here. Uh, it's very slow, one foot in front of the other routine. And that's only after what, three days. So, um, although we think we're getting the goodness from the food, uh, it's still taking its toll in, form, in, in energy. Uh, it's, it's not as easy as it was to trog these distances. But um, you just got to take it a little bit more slowly, give yourself a little bit more time. And hopefully, everything will be fine. But it's definitely, we can feel it, uh, simple things like climbing over a fence. Now you, you sort of jump down the other side and you, and you stop for a couple of seconds, get your breath, and then trudge on. So that. That thing there is your first was your first meal. Yeah, that and his well, little lost, mate. His yeah, mate's his lost mate. the skin to his mate. He's a bit of a tough hombre, actually. That one. Um, we had to cook it for quite a while. We boiled it for a, a hell of a long time. But surprisingly enough, although um, they didn't smell too healthy, that's probably because they've been dead for a couple of days. Uh, the taste was all right. We had a fairly good a stew out of it. Bit, so yeah, a bit chewy. Had to chew the meat a bit, but you enjoy it more that way. And if you get a small bit, it means you can get in again before these two. If you got a big. <laughs> It was all right, surprisingly, and it doesn't taste... Um, Very rich meat, mate. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've eaten things like snake and hedgehog and whatnot before, so um, why not go for ferret? We ate that on um, Saturday. Saturday. Saturday we ate the ferret. It didn't half make the rabbit taste like steak on Sunday. <laughs> oh, dear, it was lovely, because <laughs> it was a fairly big rabbit we got and uh, a stack of meat on it. Anything you, you're missing particularly? I mean, aside from grub, which is the obvious thing. Have you got any craving for Really good cup of tea. Cup of tea, yeah. <laughs> a really Stacks good sugar. Sugar, British sugar. cup of tea with sugar and milk and digestive biscuits. Yeah, as well. You dunk them in and then if you dunk them too long, the ends drop off. <laughs> no, that's for craving. Like I said, we could murder a cup of tea or coffee, a nice wet, instead yeah, of this nettle sweet, tea really. and things. Yeah. This nettle tea's all right, but so like the thistles tend to get stuck in the back of your throat. Compared with some, Corporal Russ Craig has checked in at the Hebrides Hilton, a sturdy sheep pen. Clearly a house proud man. Just trying to make some rosic uh, syrup at the moment. Cut all the centres out. Going to use them as bait for birds or something to try and set up another trap. I'm trying to make a cup of tea out of rosic syrup. On. What have you missed most of all? Most of all. I mean, apart from apart from grub, I mean, is, is there anything you've had a particular craving for? Yeah, Mars bars. I had, <laughs> I had a dream about the wife the other night. It was weird, it was. Um, you know, it was a, it was a bit of dreaming about the missus. And she was sat at home with te watching telly with the two kids. And she was watching a Mars bar advert. And <laughs> every time I close my eyes and think about food or anything like that, I was thinking about Mars bars. Uh, it was dead weird that there was a missus sat at home watching a Mars bar advert. <laughs> I couldn't believe me. <laughs> It's weird. Who is it? Um, Andy Dix, he keeps dreaming about Kentucky Fried Chicken because he goes ashore all the time and he's into Kentucky Fried Chicken. He keeps dreaming about oh, that's his craving. For most, however, even fantasy can't alleviate the horror of what has all the makings of a truly last supper. We're not too sure about furry cat police. Uh, we do know, well, we've been told that if you singe your hairs off them, then they are edible. But then again, we've been told if uh, you eat them, then they are poisonous. So we're going to give it a miss. We'll probably just use it as bait. Uh, I think you'd turn to things like that as a last resort if there's absolutely nothing. Caveman living appears to concentrate the mind. Food is the be-all and end-all of conversation. Take this off. 
the hot point mark two oven this. Whoa, look at that. I've been using peat on the fire, like I say, and obviously it's in large blocks. So I've been using a small blade, an old hacksaw blade, to cut the peat up. And it's just been getting that bad, the food-wise, with me. I can't even cut the blocks of peat if I would think there's a gingerbread. And also in the morning, start the fires, we slice off the wood to make chippings to get going. And now I can't think I'm cutting up bits of cheese. <laughs> it's getting me on a joke, you know, everything's food, everything you look at. By their fourth night in the open, and mercifully it's a mild November, the lack of food for some becomes a genuine predicament. Not the gear you were uh, issued with? No, no. So I uh, found it in the dustbin first day we got here. We got dropped off just down the road. We had a good rummage through a dustbin there. We found these clothes, this bag, and a few other assortments that we're hopefully going to use to cook on if we get anything. Right. Why have you changed into that, sir? Well, it's about the third, third day now. We've had nothing to eat. We can't find, catch any game. It's, it's a pretty poor area. There's no trees or anything. Um, that house is empty. We had a look up the, the first night and the second night. We had a good look through the shed and there's a push bike in there. So I'm going to get a push bike and have a ride down to the farm, see if there's anything I can get down there, be it eggs, chickens, potatoes, anything. I'm just going to have a ride down there. Right. You're in civvies because you don't want to get caught. What will happen if you are caught? Well, if, if I'm caught, I'll be off the course. Simple as that. But it's initiative and this, uh, you know... You're out here, you've got a set of laws to stick by. Um, that only is a guideline. It's more or less you can do what you want as long as you're not caught, which is basically what you do. Good luck. Let's oh, go. Cheers. Russ Craig's expedition to borrow a bicycle may hardly be described as a consummate demonstration of the commando's art of feline stealth. Since Craig came close to waking graveyards, it's little wonder that the subsequent interrogation is inspired by profound suspicion. Um, Put a fish your today. tongue out. Pardon? But I fish fish today, uh, yesterday, and a rabbit today. I'll put it in there, mate. Okay. Mm. You caught your first rabbit. You sure you weren't giving it? It was caught it today. Take out the contents of your pockets and put them in there. That's probably one of them that was in the bin. With all the rest of that stuff. Well, we do the sauce as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mac, what, what was that you found? You found a, a piece of paper with some cake crumbs in it? Yeah? Oh, yeah. They, what they did, they found all that stuff in the uh, bin at the top of the road. Yeah. So I can't prove where that came from. Uh, I think that's where they got it from, actually. He's got it in his paper. Co op. Do you think they have managed to survive on just uh, the turnip stew for four days? They've had, they've had uh, stuff that they found up there. Um, they've had sugar. I know they've had tea. And there's some type of uh, whether they found powder milk in there or not, but there was there was traces of it there. Mm. It's just been. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt at the moment, <laughs> but they're looking quite weak. Not only weak, but disorientated too. The manuals call this the dislocation of expectation, and compound it with the irksome harassment of repeated searches. That's the skin. Yeah. 
Got any matches left? Pardon? Plenty of matches left? Yeah. Yeah. There's the old cooking pot there, George, isn't it? Yeah. You said you were cold? Yeah. You're not doing the hot stones things that I told you. Has anyone seen Cosmic at all? Seen Cosmic? Cosmic? Yeah. No? No. Why, is he, is he still missing? No. It's a good idea. It's a good idea if you can uh, smoke some stuff to take with you. During the Towards the end. Yeah. Yeah. Take with us? To take with you. Where are we going? You might find out. Right, we'll see you later on. Have fun. Have fun. The humour is wearing thin. There's a nervous edge to the laughter. Who looks for? The problem is that no one will tell them how long all this is going on. It could be ten more hours or ten more days. And they haven't got rid of their tiresome shadows yet. None of us, none of us, slept a whole night yet. Just you know, you stay awake. Wake, keep waking up with terrible cramps. Yeah. We're all suffering from dizzy spells. Yeah. Probably just lack of food. Yeah. It shouldn't be lack of food because you've got no. enough now. Yeah. Oh, lack Vitamins of and, uh, vitamins sugar, and salt, salt, and all those things. Well, you find there's enough natural salt, especially in. Uh, um, some of the game that you've got now carry its own beauty in that anyway. It's just your body's just now take, taking less salt than it normally does. Yeah. You, yeah, um, you probably find that if you're not drinking enough liquids, and I always, you, you're roasting stuff there, but you always go for the stew, and then there's your drink after that, or what have you. Have you put any of the wild herbs in that? In any cooking? I haven't found any wild herbs yet. Nothing. We don't, we don't really know what. Oh, there's some wild grass. <laughs> and there's also mint. You've got to walk for it. Uh, a dissertation on the aromatic properties of British herbs is, of course, precisely what you need when starving. Right, there it is, there. Oh, is that one? And not, totally all you've got to do is, is just rub it in your hand. Then you can smell it, yeah? It grows in boggy bits. Is that, is that the one? No, it, it's, it's on, like, a, a fairly firm stalk. It's not just in a, in a little... It goes about that high. Ignoring the Cordon Bleu lecture, they strike Lucky with a hair, served al fresco, and consumed in a manner reflecting much credit on their mother's table training. Faces are beginning to reflect the strain. Is it what you expect? No. Yeah. It's not hard to go hungry, is it? But uh, we've been a bit unfortunate because um, they say it's the best areas, but uh, it is if you use the woods in it. The game stacks of rabbits around, but they're laughing at us anyway. It's three anyway. We put snares out and uh, caught a couple, caught a few. But I met uh, one of the guys from the other end. We went up there for a yum today. He was telling us uh, 
they've got quite a few. I mean, the digger was catching quite a few initially, but now he's not. I don't know. You've been over there today? No, he's not. He's not catching them. Yeah, uh, catching nothing. There's uh, living off tutties and uh, swedes. What's been the worst bit of it? Is it is it the hunger? Yeah, I mean, like, I think any of us can stand being cold and wet. Easy, no problem. We just live with that. It's just going without the food. It, I mean, not give you carbohydrates and that the old spuds in it but uh, it's just not not as much food as you're used to it's you, a lot of things you take for granted you know back at home and uh, as you probably know that now but uh, you suddenly realize what you do take for granted once you're here Where you've sighted your bivy, um, as I told you in the first place, it's a, um, you're going to get gale force winds blowing through here. And if this wind picks up now, this won't last five minutes. It'll, it'll be away like a sail. Your fire's uh, nothing compared to the others. People are now, um, because they picked a decent location and didn't just plonk on the side of a, uh, a river like this, quite out in the open, have managed to build ovens, they've got smokers. But what you seem to be doing to me is, is scratching around like, a, like three hens here. Um, you've got to make a decision whether you're going to scratch around here forever or move about Move over uh, within your area and see if you can find a better place. Um, if this wind, as I say, picks up and what have you, in the middle of the night, this is going to start going. It's probably now you've got a lot of turfs on the top here. It's probably a little bit better. But you, it is the worst group, and you seem to be scratching. You got you. You're only um, at the beginning of it. Okay, you've got a long way to go yet. If you're going to start getting worn down, as I can see the looks of you that you are, you're going to, you, you ain't going to make it right to the very end. Yeah? But the end is in sight. Camp is to be struck tomorrow. Day seven of what had been planned as a ten-day exercise. I thought it great. <clears throat> you're living like kings now. The management have deemed that a mild November has made conditions too soft. Goodwill is re-established by rewarding each man with a single boiled sweet. Okay. Three kids. What if I get? Just a little present for Cheers. I don't. Uh, can I have a cigarette instead? Can I have a smoker? Got enough smoke down here. Cheers. Good work. I can't ask for much more, can I? And the sight of a happy mat long. They have yet, of course, to encounter the snow and ice that is to be their ultimate fighting terrain. But even here, any man could have quit had he wanted. Did that ever occur to Corporal Craig's group? Earlier in the week we were, because uh, we'd heard about the other groups catching stacks of game, and we wasn't catching so at all. Um, the first three days, personally, myself, I was all ready for wrapping my hand in, throwing the towel in. I don't know where these two felt, but I was threaders. We weren't catching anything, and I didn't see how I could stand another seven, eight, or nine days of it. I was really fed up. I think if it had carried on for a few more days, then, yeah, I'd have probably thought about wrapping my hand in. Uh, but as soon as we got the vegetables, then things changed, uh, and the morale did pick up a bit. Um, because on Friday, you, uh, you saw the demonstrations, and uh, uh, then it looks very good, because you see all the meat and all, uh, all the vegetables and all, all things you can eat. 
And uh, after two days, when you haven't catch anything, then uh, it's boring. With no enemy to liven things up, what do they do to combat the tedium? The, the big thing. advantage of this week is that uh, I had a lot of time to think about my girlfriend. That was very nice because the other the other weeks you are working so hard that uh, there is nearly no time left to think about your girlfriend. And this was a good time. Mm. I tried not doing that because whenever I thought of my missus, it made me get depressed. But when I'd be thinking about... <laughs> no, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> Fair one. No, but when I was thinking about the work we've got to do and the food we've got to try and get and where we're going to go and what we're going to do next and getting the pee and getting the fire going, I was busy and my mind was occupying it once so bad. But when I stop and think about, you know, my family, my mother and father, brothers and sisters, my wife and kids, I'd feel really depressed and think, shit, let's get out of this place, I've had enough. You know, why should I be here? I don't have to be, I'm a volunteer, you know. I must be puddled. But when I was thinking about other things, it was all right. But as soon as I started thinking about, oh, I'm oh, depressed as hell. So I just stopped thinking about it. I try not to think about it. What have you learned? I don't know, saying, I think it's just how hard it is to survive and keep going. You think it's going to be a lot easier than it uh, really is. Specifically, what have your difficulties been? Tiredness, I think. You know, going just the simplest chores after a while. It's, uh, it's hard work. My hat keeps on falling off. But apart from that, it's not too bad. How are you? Fine. Yeah, last yesterday we got uh, two rabbits. Yeah. It's come to show us these slippers. These slippers? Oh, yes, I like that. Yeah. Furry side inwards. Oh. Tiles on the front instead of the back. Right. Yeah, okay, then. <laughs> Anything for sheep ticks? Have you got sheep ticks? No, have I. Have a look. Oh, probably all oh. got them. Not too many showing it. No, I just had mine in between my fingers. You keep them where you want. I found them every day up to you. Yeah. Oh, it's going to rain in a minute. Does anyone want to see? Yeah, really. It's going to go up around your wrist. I thought you had them before you came out, Digger. Oh, <laughs> they're crabs. <laughs> <laughs> they're crabs. Right. Kick them out. Tomorrow, morning, Digger. Yeah. I want you and your band of merry men to meet the transport there at five past eight. OK, so you're happy? Yep. Yeah. Good. You'll survive till tomorrow, will you? Uh, we got enough spuds. Good. Just wipe the smile off my face now. <laughs> <laughs> later. Oh, before I forget. Oh, I might as well. I've got something for you. No, not a Mars bar. Galaxy. Picnic. Picnic. Is that what you want? No, galaxy or Mars bar or picnic? Galaxy. Marathon. <laughs> <laughs> There's just the two there. There's another one. <laughs> uh, you're supposed to hand them out, you know. <laughs> no, we'll fight. Oh, we don't have to fight. Oh, we're red red colours. <laughs> What are we going to do, boil smoking. it or roast it? Smoke it. Up to you. Smoke you can make tea. Yeah. You make smoke tea out of it. Smoke it. I do. I might just suck it. Suck it and see. <laughs> so the bitches are Different from yeah. rose hips. Right, we'll see you later. Normal right. yeah. 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 Don't be late. Five past. Set the, oh, set the alarm. Uh, will, my bladder will crack me up by then. Right, good job you left it intact. You will be just down from this house, around there, at ten past eight tomorrow morning to be picked up. Ten right, past that's what I want you. Ten past eight tomorrow morning. Right, we're gonna need that rabbit, don't we? Well, that's up to right. you. Right, make sure this lot is taken down and put back where you got it. Yeah. And I want the whole area cleared of all right. this rubbish. I don't want to see that you're here at all. I'll be around to check it after you've gone. Okay, George. Okay, sure. any questions? Yeah, it's something we're playing about. No, what's that? No, oh, he's promising me a sweet next time you come. Oh, I've got them for you. Oh, go you on. got one, George? Yeah. <laughs> Super. You've been looking forward to this? Yeah. I've been waiting for my sweet. That's one for each. Yeah, George. I'll give John a whiz. Okay. Is it one more thing? That's it. No questions on that? No. no Happy with what you got to do? Yeah, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. 8 o'clock. Yeah. Completely cleared. Right. Yeah, okay. no problems. Right. Mm. It would be uh, an invidious question to ask you whether you're pleased with that news. Yeah, I like it here. Super. <laughs> <laughs> How have you been getting on? What have you learnt? Well, we had the uh, 
talking to the other day. Uh, we were, we've been existing as opposed to living, really. I think if you, if you see what I mean. Yeah. We, we were we were getting by all right, but uh, obviously they went to the Rolls Royce, so we uh, done the stove. We actually caught a rabbit. Have you seen him, have you? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Smoked him. Yeah. yeah. He almost got it. <laughs> well, I thought we'd better save it anyway for the uh, rainy day. You'd worked it out right. Yeah, but there's more. <laughs> What have you learned this week? Well, learned to snare. You know, catching game and that. Uh, I don't know. It's little things that you find out about yourself. You just, you know, you have a hack it or you don't. I mean, I, I don't know, problems. It's been okay. Little things you found out about yourself, such as? Uh, whether you want to pass the course or not. I mean, I want to pass the course, so, I mean, you put up with this. You get bored. You know, you don't, you don't think you get bored, but uh, you do. It is a bit boring. One of the other groups, one of the people in the other groups, said they, on the third day, thought very seriously about wrapping their hand in. Did that ever cross your mind? No, I've never thought about wrapping. You know, I just sort of look at this as part of it. I mean, I know there's a, a lot more at the end of the tunnel, like, you know, there's a lot more good things. You're bound to get some bad. I mean, it won't be worth doing if it was easy, would it, really? I mean, there's got to be a challenge to it. They think it's over, but it's not. As the transport arrives to collect them, they are to discover that their end-of-term euphoria is premature. What should have been a welcome sight is suddenly transformed into something almost sinister. Abruptly, they are deprived even of their names and become mere ciphers. Even the right of expectation has been snatched away from them again, just as it would be if they'd been caught behind enemy lines. It increases their apprehension. You'll now be given a number, you'll be known by that number from now on. Please wait up, keep quiet.
There are certain aspects of the training as well as the operations of Britain's special forces units which may not be publicised. We were not permitted to film what happened next, a decision determined by the Official Secrets Act. Next week, back on the mainland, we are governed by no such constraints. There is much more a behind-the-lines fighter has yet to learn.